Jesus. Mind blown. Good morning. Day eight, I suppose. Seven must have been yesterday. It was eight yesterday. Maybe it's nine. I lose track. Anyway, it's Tuesday. And it's a gorgeous day. You can see the inversion down in the valley. So yeah, today I hope to get to Trento. A bit of flying and maybe some on foot. Try and glide out up the valley here, uh, over onto those hills, and then and then across that way. But... Morning, horses. Hello, you're a little one. And you're a big one. I've got nothing for you. I don't have apples or anything. You're a bit more skittish, you are. Hello. Oh, you're rather nice, aren't you? Yes. Lovely little donkey. Oh. Hello. Okay. So yeah, eight o'clock exactly, all packed up, and I'm gonna invest an hour or so um, climbing up, up there, uh, up to that cross more or less. And that should give me the perfect takeoff. Two, three, 2,300 meters thereabouts. And this is the view from an altitude of about 2,170. Clouds beginning to pop in the valleys. My plan is to head south, I'll try and get onto those hills, mountains, or even further south before crossing over into Tr to Trento. It's just stunning. It's pretty heavily inverted, but cloud is forming on that peak there now, and I just saw one over there. So that's where I want to go. So yeah, fingers crossed. Must be getting towards 11 o'clock, certainly half 10, quarter to 11. And I think it's time to make a move. Hopefully I'll just be able to soar up those cliffs and just wait for cloud base to rise a bit more.
well I'm almost at 2-3 I think I've got enough height to glide over to the cold to my left Let's see if I can just get a little bit higher here oh no nah, let's go for it Pretty much at cloud base, as good as it's going to get for now. Well, didn't have lots of height. <laughs> Sufficient though, and a little landing option there, but no takeoff option. I'm having to go for the glide out. There's a cloud further up, but just didn't want to risk running out of options. Try and find something on the other side. You've got to turn tightly, otherwise you fly way out, but it's not as efficient. I think I'm going to try around the other side. One more try along here. Well, I tried my hardest on that ridge, but I just end up losing 300 feet. Let's see if this one's any better. God damn it. Come on. Spotted a hawk or something out there, but actually, I'll try turning in this first. <laughs> Nada. Just not enough to do a proper turn in. Come on, where's this climb? the climb I can turn in now. This will be the kiss of death though. Oh, 
up at 1700 again. Haven't seen that for a long time. Pushing on one ridge after another. Lovely little hawks though. So I've crawled, crawled, clawed. I've clawed myself back up to almost 2,000 meters. I need to sort of try and work my way along this ridge, I think. Quite intense. is awesome. All that scratching has been worthwhile. Up at 2-1 now. 2-1-42. Up at 2,400 now. Everything's opening up. Incredible. Only thing is, I need to work out where I need to go. Look at those mountains there. Wow. I've just stuffed a bit of food down me. First time I've been able to take my hands off the brakes. Apart from turning the camera on and off for a very long time. I've sort of got to get across that hill. It's going to be tricky. But in the meantime, this is just magnificent. I haven't used quite a bit of bar, I've been on full bar. But hopefully that means when I get round this corner, I'll be able to soar up it again. I'm down to 2,040. Right, come on, you better work. Otherwise all that climbing will have been for nothing.
pretty gentle. But going in the right direction. I think if I can get onto those cliffs in front, it will really start booming, but. Need to uh, work it here first. This is so much fun. I have to concentrate a lot, but it's God, it's amazing. It's quarter to two now. Sun nicely on all these southwesterly faces, and I'm hoping it's going to start working on that slope there. One advantage of it taking me so long to get here. Fucking hell, that's a cliff and a half. Pardon my French or Italian. Wowza. Not exactly working very well, mine. Jesus. Mind blown. not working at all. Oh, Worth it just to see the end of that valley. These bits are working. I might have to go back to the other ones. Some uh, tandems flying down there. Come on. Well. I need to get over that hill to my left and I just can't see it happening. I'm stuck at about 2-2. Two -two. Pleasant though this is. It's getting a bit tiring. So I could skirt around the northern edge of it. I don't think I can push on further that way. Big crossings. Because I could land and just wait and see what's what. Wait for the sun to get more on the hill. Don't want to get confused in this cloud. There's a fucking great wall alongside me. These clouds have just opened up an idea. I'm going to try and get around there. You never know. Absolutely incredible scenery.
Yeah. More cliff soaring. I don't know if I can take any more of it. I just want to get a climb under these clouds, but sort of in the wrong side of the valley, really. It's just crazy. I'm getting lift in places where I not, wouldn't really expect to get lift. But who's complaining? Just extraordinary. Very weak, but pretty nice. 1900 meters, or oh, a bit of a headwind here. If I can get across there, that'll get me to Trento. Okay, there's a strong headwind here. Paragliding site just around the corner. So I'm assuming that once I can get around the corner, it'll be soarable. At the moment, it's giving my stomach a good workout. Let's try and relax a bit. So I'm making a dash through the hills here, but in the knowledge there's bailout options. I'm at 1600 meters. This village here is it's quite tempting to land down there actually. It's a beautiful looking village there. Ah, another lovely looking little village. Uncharted territory. Well, the whole flight has been, to be honest. It's quite a wide valley, so I don't think it's going to be too windy, but there's a lake there, so I can uh, see what's happening on the lake. I think Trento is actually over the other side of that hill. Oh, God. That's a beautiful village. What's the wind doing here? 24k, obviously got a bit of a headwind. Well, I couldn't see any evidence of much wind on the uh, lake. But, I don't know. I think, unless I get up here, I'm gonna sort of find somewhere to land down there. Quite full of crops, man. Vines, probably. I think I'm going to come and land on this plateau here. Do you speak English? <laughs> Inglesy. Uh. Okay, so my plan is to try is to try and hitch across uh, Trento today and get to the other flying site, the other side of it. Um, it's just a difficult valley to cross. So I don't think I'm cheating. <laughs> so at over four and a half hours, that has to be the longest it's ever taken me to fly 27 kilometers straight line. But it was brilliant fun. Then I landed, packed up, those guys gave me some water and biscuits and Matteo here gave me a lift down the hill on his motorbike where I just had time for a beer before the bus took me to Trento and then I caught another bus out to Levicho Terme where I had a lovely swim before stuffing my face with a bit of healthy salad followed by a very unhealthy pizza. It was getting dark by now so I hiked out of town up the hill towards takeoff and found a quiet spot by the river behind an old house that was being renovated. So at the end of day nine, well fed and well watered, I was in a good position to make it to Feltra and possibly beyond tomorrow. But with stable conditions forecast again, 
it was going to be a challenge. Chris, meanwhile, was still enjoying life on the shores of Lake Como, but he had a cunning plan for a flight followed by a final night on a mountain before flying home from Bergamo Airport on Thursday. Stay tuned to find out how we got on. <laughs>